Here's something Pixel users have been waiting on for years. Google is finally letting you record phone calls natively on Pixel phones. That's right, the company that once flat out refused to allow call recording on its devices is now quietly rolling the feature out. But there's a catch. Actually, there are several catches. For the longest time, Pixel owners had to rely on sketchy third-party apps or complicated workarounds to record calls. And even then, results were inconsistent and often blocked by Google itself. Now that's changing. A recent update to Google's official support page reveals that Pixel 6 and newer phones running Android 14 or later can record phone calls directly through the built-in Phone by Google app. But before you get too excited, let's talk about how this works and what limitations you need to know. First, availability. This new feature isn't rolling out everywhere, at least not yet. Call recording is region locked, and you'll only see the option if you're in a country where it's legally supported. Google makes it clear, the feature is widely available, but not in all countries or regions. In other words, even if you have the latest Pixel and the latest software, the option might simply not appear if you're in the wrong place. Right now, the most confirmed sightings of this feature have been India, where users running beta version 193.0.80976157257.2 public beta of the phone by Google app have reported seeing a brand new call recording menu. It's also been spotted on some Pixel 8 Pro units in Canada and even on a US device running Android 16 QPR 2 Beta 3.1. That suggests Google is actively testing the rollout across multiple regions, but it's far from universal yet. If you're lucky enough to have it enabled, here's what it offers. You can automatically record calls from unknown numbers, always record calls from selected contacts, or manually choose to record individual calls. Once you start recording, all participants are notified before the recording begins, which is crucial for legal reasons. The recordings themselves are saved locally on your device, and you can set them to delete automatically after a certain period. One thing to be careful about, if you delete a call log, the associated recording is also deleted. So if you're saving a recording for legal or business reasons, don't clear your call history without backing it up first. The process of recording a call is straightforward once the feature is enabled. Make or receive a call, tap on Call Assist, then Call Recording. When you're done, tap on Stop in the same menu. It's that simple. However, note that you can't record calls until they're answered, and you can't start recording while a call is on hold or during a conference call. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, consent laws. The reason Google avoided call recording for so long is because the legal landscape is a minefield. In the US, for example, 38 states and Washington, D.C. follow a one-party consent rule, meaning as long as you're part of the conversation, you can record it without telling the other party. But in the remaining states, two-party consent laws require everyone involved to know and agree that the call is being recorded. That means if you live in a one-party state but are calling someone in a two-party state, you must follow the stricter rule, meaning everyone must consent. Consent can be given in several ways. A simple verbal announcement at the start of the call, this call may be recorded, an audible beep tone played at regular intervals, or an explicit written or verbal agreement beforehand. It's worth pointing out that Google is trying to protect itself and users by automatically notifying participants when recording starts. This isn't just a courtesy. In many jurisdictions, failing to notify can land you in legal trouble. So why does this matter? Because it signals a major shift in Google's attitude towards call recording. For years, the company's position was firm. Pixel devices would not support native call recording due to privacy and legal concerns. The fact that it's reversing course, even cautiously, suggests Google recognizes how valuable this feature is. Whether it's for keeping track of important conversations, documenting agreements, or protecting yourself from scams and harassment, call recording can be a powerful tool. The gradual rollout also hints at Google's broader strategy. Test the feature in select regions, gather feedback, iron out legal and technical issues, then expand it. That's pretty typical of how Google introduces sensitive new capabilities. And it means that even if you don't see the option today, it could quietly appear on your Pixel in a future update. In my view, this is one of those finally moments for Pixel owners. 
While some other Android phones, especially from brands like Samsung and Xiaomi, have had native call recording for years, Google's reluctance always felt like a missing piece in the Pixel experience. Now, with Android 14 and beyond, it's clear that Google is ready to close that DAP, albeit on its own cautious terms. So, if you own a Pixel 6 or newer, keep an eye on your phone app updates and your Android version. And if the call recording option hasn't shown up yet, don't be surprised if it does in an upcoming beta or stable release. Just remember, the power to record is useful, but it also comes with responsibility. Always know your local laws, get the right consent, and use the feature wisely. Because now that Google's finally opening the door, how you step through it is up to you.